hello and welcome back. I'm starting another market blog. I have a market tomorrow. So today is the last day that I'm going to do some prepping stuff. I don't have that much to do. I need to prep some cards and then I need to package up some prints, sign them. What else? I need to check my like sticker inventory, make sure that's good. I think it is. I painted three glass paintings. So I painted the poppy frame one, which I really should have painted another one of these, but I just kind of ran out of time because I feel like out of all my glass paintings, the poppies sell first. They always sell first. So I only have one of each this time and then I have a hanging one. And then I painted a new one, which I don't believe I've done. It might have done it back when I first started glass paintings, but how cute is this? And it's very appropriate because tomorrow I'm doing the California Honey Festival, which <laughs> could not ask for a more perfect festival for me to do. The festival that I'm doing is about an hour and 15 minutes away from where I live and it's actually supposed to rain tomorrow. Initially this festival was planned to be outside in downtown Woodland, California and obviously that's not happening because it's supposed to pour tomorrow morning. So the organizers of the event went ahead and moved it indoors. So it is now an indoor market. And because it's indoors, I think I'm going to bring my shelf that I got for my glass paintings. The one that I was going to do all the stuff to and paint and like add a backing. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to bring it how it is. I dusted it and we're just going to go with that. So I'm going to see how that works tomorrow. Yeah, I think I'm just going to keep my setup kind of the same way that I've been doing and we're gonna see. I also have these two tote bags that I need to figure out where I'm gonna put because I'm not sure yet but I also need to like heat press those. I haven't done that yet and the reason why I heat press them is because it basically sets the paint so I need to do that and then I need to pack the car so I have a lot to do <laughs> and it is five o'clock and I have to get up Pretty freaking early tomorrow. I The setup time is at 6 or I think it starts at 6. I might get there like around 6.15 which means that I'm going to have to leave my house uh, around 5. Which I did think about booking a hotel so I wouldn't have to get up so early but I've never done this festival. This festival is pretty pricey to get into so I didn't want to push it anymore. I don't even know if I'm gonna make my booth money back just from how my last fairs have been going. I kind of haven't been doing that so we're gonna see. I'm just gonna wake up early and tough it out. Tomorrow's just gonna be a long day. I'm gonna pack some snacks and we'll see how it goes. But right now what I'm gonna do is I am going to get all those cards ready get the prints ready and everything else that I have to do and then I will check back in with you guys tomorrow morning bright and early. It is like 6 30 in the morning. <laughs> I just got to the fairgrounds. I got up this morning at 4 15. I packed a lunch which is right here and I brought a bunch of food because it's just me today. The festival starts at 10. I believe I have to be ready by 9 30 which I'm not too worried about. I'm gonna try to 
get a little time lapse in and I am going to unpack the car right now. Date. So it is now nine o'clock. I just finished up setting my booth and I went to go get a coffee because I have about an hour until the fair starts. I am actually very happy with the way that I set things up. So I forgot the display that I put my terracotta pots in, but luckily I brought some wooden boxes because I needed to carry my card stands in. And so I just use those and I actually really, really like it. I'm going to head in. I need to get like my square situated as far as like updating the sales tax and adding some prices. I'm doing like a bundle of cards. So if you buy five cards, you're getting basically one free. I'm going to see how that goes. And then I'm doing my prints. So I usually sell my prints for $30, but I'm gonna do two for 40, 45 and see how that goes. I'm gonna go in and get all the last minute things together. <music> days after the fair I <laughs> am now getting the motivation to film the rest of this video I waited a few days because that fair knocked me out the fair was Saturday and I had a very long day I think I got up uh, around like 4 15 and I didn't get back until nine, nine-ish, nine o'clock. So it was a long day. And Sunday, I was so tired. I did start my period on Sunday, which, you know, made me even more tired, but I definitely had a craft fair fatigue. It was kind of, it was almost like a craft fair hangover kind of thing which I've heard other small businesses say that they usually have like a craft fair hangover the next day. <laughs> and I just think it's so funny because it's so accurate. It's a lot of work. <laughs> yeah, but I thought I would just do a little debrief of how the market went. I think that this fair was one of my best fairs that I've done. So I made as much money for this one day fair that I've done for my like two day holiday fairs, which is absolutely crazy. And what's funny is I was talking to one of the vendors that were next, that was next to me before the fair started. And I was asking her if she's done it before and she had done it before. And she's like, girl, it's like Christmas. Like people come to the honey festival to shop and i've heard that the honey festival is big but i've never done it before so i didn't actually know and what's different about this year's festival is they actually had to move this year's festival like a few days in advance to an indoor facility because of the rain that was going to happen that morning and it rained and so a lot of the vendors like before the event were worried that people weren't gonna find the like new venue uh, they weren't going to come because of the rain and that did not stop anybody like it was so busy so my placement was kind of weird at this festival i was in the corner um by the bathrooms and so basically if this was like the indoor facility the entrance was here and I was like over here so a lot of people would go up and over and like completely miss me the amount of people that would come up to my booth and were like oh I didn't know you were here or oh you're in the corner I'm glad I found you 
um, that happened all day. I definitely want to do it next year, but I can't even imagine next year, like if I had a better spot or applied earlier, how much more I can make. So it was a very, very good event. I'm very happy with what I did and the circumstances of the whole event. And the fact that it was a one day event, which is mind blowing. But I wanted to share like how many of each product I sold because it's kind of crazy. I have my little notebook right here, which I jotted down. I sold like close to 60 cards, which is absolutely crazy. <laughs> I, I sold so many cards. Granted, Mother's Day is coming up, and so I think a lot of people were buying cards for Mother's Day, but then I also tried something new. I usually price my cards at $5 like per card, and I don't have a bundle. This time I tried a bundle and I did, you would get five cards for $20. So you're basically getting a card free and people bought into that. Like people love that. Like if they were going to get two cards, they'd be like, oh, I'll just buy two more and then get one free. So I'm definitely going to keep that for future markets as well as my like print bundle that I did, which I've never done before, but I wanted to do something because I've been having a really, really hard time selling my art prints. And I've decided to do, you get two art prints for $45 or you get one art print for $30. So you're saving $15. And guys, I sold a total of seven art prints. You're probably like seven art prints. That's huge. I feel like I will sell maybe one to two art prints at these markets. Like I really don't sell a lot of art prints and I'm so happy. So I'm definitely going to continue doing that. Um, I did sell a lot of coasters. I think I sold four sets of coasters. I sold four glass paintings, two of which were the poppy paintings. And then I sold a sunflower and hummingbird painting. I sold around 30 stickers and then I sold a terracotta pot which was my lavender bee terracotta pot. I sold a lavender bee tote bag which is very exciting. The girl who bought it actually was like you should probably raise your price. I was like I know I'm kind of like testing the waters if people are even interested. So I'm definitely gonna raise the price of that. Um, right now I sell it at 35 and I think I might bump it up to 40. Maybe. 40, 45. I still, I still, I still have no idea what to sell them at. But I do agree that I should bump them up. I was even hesitant to put it at 35. I was going to start it at 40. Yeah, and then I think I, I didn't write it down, but I'm pretty sure I sold a few sun catchers as well. I just, I like can't believe that I sold 60 cards. That is actually wild. I am hoping next year that Mark can get it off so I can kind of walk around or I can bring somebody with me so I can walk around because there was a vendor there that had these really, really cool crocheted flowers and I really wanted to go to their booth, but I just they were in the opposite building and I couldn't even, I just, I couldn't, you know, leave and walk around. There was also a bunch of like local honey vendors, which I couldn't get to because I couldn't leave. So hopefully, hopefully next year I can walk around. That's kind of my market recap. I have another market in a few days, believe it or not, <laughs> it is a much smaller market. So I'm not as stressed about prepping because it's on Saturday and it, I think it's only a few hours. So I have to start preparing for that. I have a lot of cards to print and then I'll probably just paint a few poppy paintings because those tend to sell at every market that I do and then kind of bring what I have. So I have 
yet another market prepping vlog coming up, but I'm going to go ahead and end this one. Thank you so, so, so much for watching. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the day. If you're a small business owner and you have markets coming up, I wish you the best of luck and I'll see you guys next week. Bye!